I want to start by thanking everyone that suggested an idea for the two-player pinball machine. There were hundreds of comments and I read every single one. The clear winner, and the one that I'm going to build, is Ice vs. Fire. It was mentioned more than any other idea, and since it's something that a majority of you want to see, I figure it's what I should build. If you didn't know, A Song of Ice and Fire is the Game of Thrones series, so I've decided to theme it after the show and call my machine the Game of Ice vs. Fire. I've created a little mock-up of a logo that might appear on the side of the machine. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the show, so I'm furiously binge-watching it to get ideas for theming. I've also done a small mock-up of the layout. But before I get to building, I need to do a more detailed sketch so I know how big the machine is, what kind and how much wood I need to get, and what kind of other materials I need to get as well. So here is a time lapse of the drawing with a detailed explanation. I've done some pre-planning and determined the size of the machine. It'll be 22 inches wide, which is a fairly standard size, and 80 inches long, giving each side 40 inches of playing depth, which is also close to standard. This drawing is to scale, so each quarter inch of the drawing equals one inch of the actual size of the machine. I'm also going to use one and one sixteenth inch diameter marbles, which is a standard size pinball. So I kept the marble size in mind when drawing pathways and such. I need to start including the width of the wood in this drawing, so you'll see where that fits in, starting with the border. I started designing the layout by drawing the plunger launch space. I think it would be unfair to launch a marble onto your opponent's side, so the launch doesn't send marbles over the hill. It'll be up to the player to hit the marble over. The end of the launch track will be slightly raised so marbles can't be sent back into it. Each side will start with 5 marbles in the holding area. It'll be up to the player to decide when to use each marble. There's an opportunity for an extra marble if the player shoots the marble back into the holding area. Next, I started sketching out the flippers by taking the space left and finding the center. The flippers will sit slightly off-center because of the launch and holding areas. The flippers will most likely be 3 inches long, although that number could slightly change. Next to the flippers will be those triangle shapes with an elastic surface for the marbles to bounce off. When a marble goes past the flippers, it'll drop into a hole and go towards the center to a scoring area to show who won the game. <laughs> this is when I realized I made a mistake and forgot to include the thickness of the wall. There are many similarities between a regular pinball machine and this one. However, there are quite a few differences that stand out. Unlike a normal pinball machine, the goal is to have several ways for marbles to go over the hill and attack the other side. Near the top of the slope will be at least three different ways to send the marbles to your opponent's side. While each side will be themed differently, the layout will be nearly identical so neither player has an advantage. One way to cross over will be up a ramp that drops down onto the opposing player's left side. The marble will be on a raised platform until it drops down. I added in a spot underneath the raised platform that will be an automatic dead ball. <laughs> Ironically, it's directly opposite of the extra ball spot. The next way to get marbles to the other side will be a bit advantageous, but I'm going to hope it works and redesign it later if it doesn't. There will be a tunnel leading from the top right corner of one side to the bottom right corner of the other side. It will go downhill from your tunnel entrance to the tunnel exit, and since both sides are the same, there will in fact be two tunnels each starting on one side and leading to the other. Due to the slope in the tunnels, they are one way only. While I was sketching this out, I thought that it might be even more fun if each tunnel had two entrances and one exit. The second entrance would be on the other side and may be themed as the front of a castle or a cave or something like that. Now that I've figured out much of the design, it's time to draw it on the other side without making the mistakes from before. The flippers are much more to scale this time. The first ones I drew are way too thick.
The red arrow there is something I may or, or may not implement. It's just an opening and a pathway for the marbles to lead back to the flippers. The path is what the marbles from the upper platform will drop onto. Then I added in where some of the theming will be. Below the flippers will be some painted or textured art, and at the crests near the elevated platforms may be castles or other structures. That part of the design will come later. The priority will be to build the pinball machine, then theme it. All the sides will be painted. I'll be using lots of blues and whites for ice, and reds, oranges, and yellows for fire, along with plenty of dark colors as well. Next, I needed to use some trig to figure out some of the slope sizes. A normal pinball machine has a grade of about 6 or 7 degrees, but since I'm trying to add in a few crazy things like the tunnels, I'm going to make it a bit steeper at 10 degrees. It'll make the balls roll a bit faster and make the game move along quicker. At 10 degrees, the top will be 7 inches taller than the bottom. There will be 6 inches of space under that. The barriers will need to be taller than the playing surface, so the sides will probably end up being 8 inches at the low end and 16 inches at the tall end. This next bit is just an idea I'm throwing around for what happens after the marbles disappear. They'll meet back up in the center on one side and show who won the game. I may change how the scoring is shown, but this is the idea I'm favoring right now. And that's it for this part. I've got the planning and schematics done, so now we can start building. I'm going to start with the frame and basic structure and build a working pinball machine. Then I'll go through and add in all the theming. <laughs> This is going to be a really fun build with, hopefully, a really great result. Alright, that's it for now. See ya.